Today, I want to present you some cases. These patients previously had bad or unsatisfactory dental experience with some other dentists in different countries, and they had to redo the procedures with us. The first case is a patient from the United Kingdom. She visited several dentists in the United Kingdom, but wasn't able to get any cure and visited our clinic. The second case belongs to an American patient. He did his teeth at another clinic in Turkey, but he was not happy with the aesthetic details and we redesigned a perfect smile for him. In the third case, the patient had an unsatisfactory experience by a dentist in Germany and then came across our work and eventually had her new smile designed by our doctors. Now, you will watch their short stories. The longer versions are also available on our Instagram and YouTube channels. There are many more examples with similar stories. The main point is that you may have a bad dental experience at any dentist, in a Western country or in Turkey. The treatment quality is independent from the country or the location of the clinic. It's all about choosing the right dentist and the clinic, independent from the location. Let's have a look at those cases. It was a quote of £27,000, £750 to have a further investigation. I didn't ever believe that they could make my teeth look like this because I didn't have teeth like this as a young woman. Really, I just wanted some me time and to get... I felt like it's made me feel that I'm the one just being looked after this time. I'm Glynis Pickering and I'm from Beverly in East Yorkshire and I'm here at the Amalfi Clinic and I've just had all of my teeth done. In 2016, I had seven implants and two front crowns done at an East Yorkshire dentist where I live. There was soon a problem. The right hand bridge would not stay on. I kept giving, going back and he gave no explanation. Then we came to the lockdown and it wasn't on with the COVID-19. It was on the, it broke, it fell on the earth and broke. But I would say there was no consultation. It was just, you need that doing at the top. You actually need more, but it's 10,000 pound. And because I had seven teeth missing and I wasn't getting on with the um, plate, I thought, well, I'll just have to do it. And it never looked nice, neither. The front teeth were too big and this sad bridge, because I veered on a hard bite on this side of my mouth, was sort of up here. My family noticed, but they just accepted that I was happy I had some teeth. I waited and waited quite a fair time to go and see him. And it took me as long to get to travel to see him as it did to come to Istanbul. When I got there, he, he examined me. I waited quite a few weeks for the information to come back. Do you want me to say how much? It was a quote of 27,000 pounds, 750 pounds to have a further investigation. And wait for this. They did not have the tools for my legacy implants. I thought, why have we got this problem? I've seen a top specialist just outside of York, so everybody will know who he is, because there's not very many in the country. And he just said he didn't have the tools, so quite naively, I said, well, if they're just a little bit of money, I don't mind, like a screwdriver, 200 pound, no, it's a kit and it costs thousands, so he said. I'd by this time decided that I wasn't going back to him because he wasn't addressing the problem. So I found another dentist still in Beverly where I lived. He looked at my mouth, shook his head and then referred me to a specialist outside of York. So I then started to look on further afield and I found the Maltepe 
clinic. I was invited to go for a free consultation in London, which I went with my daughter. We went shopping and the man was very thorough and he more or less said what the specialist in England had said, that the full lot had to be done. They couldn't just patch me up. And I've come here and I'm quite, it's been amazing. Really, they've looked after me. They've been polite and caring. So I, I, the outcome has been very good and I'm grateful. And it's cost very little. Compared to what you were going to Not pay. compared, it's cost very little if you can hop on a plane. Yeah. So it was a very affordable if you're prepared to make the journey. Plus, I visited the Grand Bazaar, saw the Sultan's Palace and a few things which I quite enjoyed. And they, put, they looked after me from stepping off the plane to the hotel and they'll be taking me back to the airport tomorrow. Um, and I'm 70 this year, I've done it by myself. My um, son-in-law is a deep sea diver and he's got some problems. He needs some implants at the back of his mouth. And he says when he's got a fair break in work, because he travels internationally, he, he nearly hopped off to come and stay with me, but I, I wouldn't let him. So he will certainly come. And I think, you know, once they all sort of follow each other, they think, and there is people at home who need work are absolutely waiting for me to go home. I've sent the photos on the phone back to them. I didn't ever believe that they could make my teeth look like this because I didn't have teeth like this as a young woman. And as you can see, I've gone for quite a natural look. I am coming out with big, brilliant white. He, we, the, Myself and the dentist even agreed. He asked me if I wanted those two front teeth long like the wear as everybody had noticed they looked too long. And I said, well, no, I'd like him a bit shorter and he was glad. So he's made the look perfect for me. Really, I just want some me time and to get, I felt like it's made me feel that I'm the one just being looked after this time. Well, the thing is, it stopped me going out really socially. It, um, I'm not particularly a woman who goes out of an evening, but certainly I'm feeling that we now need to start living a bit more for today and enjoying ourselves and it'll really help. You know, I've got about, I think about five new lipsticks. I've not come to dentist in it because I don't think he should be blathered in it. <laughs> I uh, had a bad experience with another clinic, not this one. Hi, my name is Joseph Malay. I just arrived from Los Angeles, California. This is my third time in Istanbul. I uh, had a bad experience with another clinic. I was very upset, very miserable. So I searched the web to find uh, the best clinic in Istanbul and I came across uh, Maltepe Dental Clinic. When I got here, they took great care of me. Everyone was so nice and friendly. Look at my smile. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's like unbelievable from what I was before and from what I am now, you know? It's totally different. Changed my life completely. Come here, you will not regret it. This is the best, best place in Istanbul. Thank you. Ich hatte eine Implantatbehandlung in Deutschland. Ich habe leider im Nachhinein erfahren, dass die Implantate äh, schief und schäpp eingesetzt wurden. Das war eine sehr, sehr schlimme Zeit für mich mit den Arztfehlern, die ich leider dort erfahren habe. Also ich kann euch nur empfehlen, lasst euch beraten, sucht richtig nach den Ärzten. Hallo, ich heiße Hadja Tolla, komme aus Deutschland. Ich hatte eine Implantatbehandlung in Deutschland. Ich hatte zwei Frontimplantate im oberen Kieferbereich. Ich habe leider im Nachhinein erfahren, dass die Implantate äh, schief und schäpp eingesetzt wurden. Und äh, leider hatte ich ähm, eine sehr, sehr schlechte Erfahrung mit dieser Praxis, mit der Erzbehandlung. Habe auch lange Zeit nach guten Ärzten gesucht. 
Leider mit immer negativen äh, Rückantworten, dass mein Zahnfleisch zu sehr ähm, zurückgezogen ist und ähm, dass der eine Implantat sehr schief eingesetzt war. Ich hatte in, letzten, in den letzten Monaten tatsächlich sieben Kilo abgenommen. Das war eine sehr, sehr äh, schlimme Zeit für mich. Somit bin ich auf die Suche gegangen und bin auf die Malte Dental Klinik gelandet, wie ihr ja auch sehen könnt. Ich habe sechs Zähne oben und sechs Zähne unten jetzt etwas auffrischen lassen <lacht> und ähm, ja, bin sehr zufrieden. Ich muss auf jeden Fall dazu sagen, dass die Klinik super professionell aufgebaut ist. Habe ich nicht erwartet und sehr sauber ist und immer, immer nette Mitarbeiter, die sich äh, herzlich empfangen und dir Kaffee und Tee anbieten. Das ist schon sehr viel wert. Ich kann wieder, ohne Angst zu haben, lachen. Ich kann wieder essen, richtig essen. <lacht> also es war die richtige Entscheidung, hierher zu kommen. Everybody deserves to get well-performed dental work. Wherever you are, whoever you are, you are not destined to hide your smile. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Number one clinic in Istanbul. Of Tepe Dental Clinic. This is the place. See you. Thanks for the gift. Contact us and let us find the customized solution for your smile makeover and dental issues. If you want to know more about how to choose the right clinic, you can check out our videos.